Let's have a look at question one now. So we have a stem and leaf plot of the home runs hit by Alex during his 17 seasons. Now here is the stem, here is the leaf, all the data in question one. We want to know whether the distribution is skewed to the right. So what's the intuition of a stem leaf? This is just representing data. We need to be able to read it. Now the stem stays for the, how do you call that in math? I think it's called the tenths. Like if you look at 12, right? The tenth is gonna be the one, this represents how many tenths we have? We have one ten, and this is the unit. This is two units. So that's how we interpret stems as well. The stem is gonna show us the tenths, and the leaf is gonna show us the units. So with that said, let's see how we can read it. We have here with zero tenths, meaning we'll have just unit. So zero zero means nothing, zero five means just five units. In other words, in pure math, that's equal to five. So let's write that. We will have zero zero, and then over here we have zero five. That's when the tenth is equal to zero. We go to the next one, we go to one. So what do we have at one? We have no leaf, we have no unit. So for one, we have actual no data because we have no units, right? It's just given the tenth. So with one, we write nothing. We go to two. Now we go to two over here. We have two tenths and then we have this unit. So let's write that. We will have 20, two and zero. That's the first number and then two and three. So 23, we got that. We go to the next one, three. When we have three tenths, when we have three tenths, we will use all the other units. So first one is three zero, that's 30. Then we go three five, that's 35. Then we go three five again, that's 35 again. Then we go three six, right? That's 36. And we go three six one more time. So 36, got that. We move below, we go to four, four tenths. So over here we have four one as the first, 41, right? Let's go below, four one. So we have four one and then four two. We got four, two, and then four, two again. So four, two again, four, seven, that's 47, four, eight, that's 48. We got that. Now the last one is gonna be with five. So five tenths and we have two units. So 52, we have 52 as the first, 54 as the second, 57 over here. So this is all the data and we want to know the distribution. So to know the distribution, we have to make a plot to see basically what, uh, you know, what, uh, what is the most frequent data? Do we have bigger numbers or do we have smaller numbers? But we'll do that in the next video.